James evolved so much since I was a kid and the first time I saw James was when I blackmailed my parents into buying me my first James. And that's how I briefly experienced the other side of life. But that's alright, I'm an adult now and I've decided to buy my own James. I fell in love with James but realized I don't know too much about him. My goal? Know everything about James. That means knowing every minor detail on production, variants, prototypes. Let's combobulate everything. I don't know what combobulate means. Let me look it up. To put together in order. Hmm, okay. James was really well known for his gold dome. And to emphasize the gold, the designer decided to use bare wood. However, Brit Allcroft did not like the idea of that. She thought the bare wood made James look sloppy and preferred the fully painted look. I guess they didn't have metallic gold paint back then. They did have the gold paint back then. They just didn't use it. Anyways, a brief overview on 1992's. Made in upstate New York, Skinny Stack transitioned to a fast stack because skinny funnels kept falling off. I'm repeating a lot of stuff from Evolution and Thomas. Please don't judge me. Fast Stack transitioned to a bevel stack. Kids were getting splinters. I don't know if that made any difference. Of course, there's our hybrid. This is another hybrid. At this point, they were just using whatever was available. This is a naked James. This is a dark red tender without the wheels. Oh no, that's so cruel. Give him some wheels. So I did. Up till early 1993, Thomas was licensed with Shining Time Station and there were two types of boxes. James had these extra inserts and there was only one label type. Here are other label variations made in 1993. After losing the license, they started making Benjamins. It probably has a better name. I call these Benjamins just because a lot of these went to the UK, specifically to the Benjamin Toy Company, and the ones that made it there have these unique UPC labels. These are all the Benjamins I've been collecting, but that's for another day. This was the end of the production in the United States, and a new era opened up in China. <clears throat> I don't know how to do the clap transition. A few changes that happened in 1994. Magnets, funnels, face, paint, chassis, wheels. It looks like the same James to me, but they did change a lot, including the type of wood. So here's what happened in 1995. We had big round magnets. They may or may not have produced a bit too much wheels in 1994, so we never get to see dated 1995 wheels. Also forgot to mention, 94 and 95 had beautiful cardboard boxes that were way more sturdier than the laminated ones. No, I'm not gonna do a drop test just for a video. Oh my God. These also had cloud labels. In 1996, they changed the magnet to a smaller one. Honestly, don't know why. These trains were also part of German Bandai lines, and around this time, they changed the sticker in the box. Same with the labels. In 1997, they got thicker wheels and flatter round magnets. Midway through, they also changed their packaging style. In 1998, they replaced wooden funnels to a plastic one. There's a rumor that Roy Wilson quit his job because of that. I don't think that's true. In 1999, they got a realistic looking funnel and Roy did actually quit his job during that time. 1999 was also the year when character cards started for James. That's exciting. In the year 2000, I don't think there were any trains made for the US besides from the Magic Railroad series. However, they did have this packaging and they got new logos, which led to a new character card. They also made international versions and 2001 was a crazy year. This was the first year since 1995 where the range was available in the UK. Long story short, Brio got discontinued, but also this was the last year of Clickety Class and they went crazy with the variants. They made both a red dome and a gold dome. They sometimes drilled the funnels and some did not. We finally see the name on the chassis. In 2002, nothing really happened. Just kidding, we got a completely different model here. Bigger smoke box, wider boilers, no ledge, better details, but most of all, James is a lot more happier. Some had holes, some did not, and there were new character cards. And this is a prototype for it. 2003. There was seriously something wrong with this year. Why? For one, nothing really changed. Like, Hit Entertainment took over, but they were still using the Ghislaine boxes. And this was the year we see the biggest population growth since the 1940s. I think it's called the baby boom or something, I don't know. But what growth? The wheels. 
They made so much to the point that we see these little rascals up till the year 2013. Hello, hello, this is Future Me, and it turns out they did not mass produce the 2003 wheels, but instead the 2003 wheel mold was used till 2013. Makes more sense. Also, the style for the character cards changed curvy edges, no border, digital background, huge improvement. In Evolution of Thomas, I moved on from 2004 to 2011 saying that just the base changed. I mean that's not wrong, but we'll go even deeper. 2004 was the first year codes were printed. The first two letters represent the initials of the factory, zeros, I don't know, the later numbers indicate the date produced. 2004 train started production in the Weijun and Hansheng factory. Weijun factory had a good run till 2011 and Hansheng ran till 2007. Because Hansheng used lead paint, but whoa, why is the music so dramatic? Turn it down a bit. In 2005, 3i was produced. I don't know the actual name of the factory. Let's just call him 3i James. This is a 3i James. Potentially a hazard. This was made with lead paint and got something back. On the brighter note, in 2007, we get to see a new style of character cards. But that was also the last year we see the character cards. I felt sick to the stomach. James, the most iconic character, coming to an end because of a stupid little paint incident. Rest in peace, James. Nah, they just changed to SKU and James was going strong. Character cards did come to an end in 2011 though. And changing SKU seemed to be a trend. When Tomy took over, they changed the SKU. And when Mattel took over, they also changed the SKU. Same with the wood and the new wooden railway series. In 2008, TFI was introduced. TFI was available till 2012. Now in 2011, both Y June and TFI had design updates because Tomy took over and we see a Tomy face. Their paint quality also improved. You're not able to easily rub it off, probably more aware after the lead incident. However, that only lasted for a year. And in late 2012, Mattel took over and they started producing even higher quality trains from the TAT factory. A brief overview on TAT James. Mattel face, curved edges, longer magnet guards, the good times lasted for a very short time and TAT factory discontinued in 2013. They moved factories to RSS. These were considered average models. The paints weren't as nice as TAT and this factory was only running for a year till 2014. In 2014, we see three places that made wooden railway. RSS, KQ, and RSQ. Unfortunately, KQ ended in the same year and RSQ continued on. In 2015, KW Factory was introduced and this is when all factories updated their wheels to having a lip. In 2016, a new factory started, also known as TLE. This was kind of the downfall for Thomas. It had a smaller face that led to Thomas Wood. This year was also the last year for RSQ. Finally, in 2017, KW and TLE was the last remaining wooden railway factory that ever produced James. Now there was quite an interesting difference between the KW and TLE and to know this, you will have to know generic. Very nice, very smart, knows everything, not like me. Generic sent me these pictures and it looks like the KW model says James is tender while TLE says James tender. This contradiction continued onto the wood series. Although they were both made from the BS factory, I mean DS, Early Eco James had James Tender, and later fully painted James had James's Tender. In 2002, it looks like they reverted back to James Tender, and we'll see how it goes. Now, going back to the TLE James, we talked about it had smaller face, and it led to the Wood series. This is an Eco James, and I found something very interesting yesterday. I thought TLE was only linked to Wooden Railway, and all code transitioned to DS for Thomas Wood. However, yesterday I was rummaging through my trains and I found some wood products that was actually made from the TLE factory. It had bigger fonts for the name. I don't know. I thought it was cool. Unfortunately, I don't have James. Later, Eco James got a lot of heat and so they decided to fully paint the James. It didn't end well. And so Thomas Wooden Railway came back. So far, we have one variant. However, Initially, when Thomas Wooden Railway was being released, they were planning to add these speckles to the track piece, but they didn't. And that is why for some of the first editions, you are able to see these speckled tracks on the box while the later ones are clean. As you guys could probably tell, it's already dark outside. 
It's actually 3 a.m. I don't even know what I'm saying. All right, I'm going to bed. That's just an example clip. There's no way I'm gonna keep the lights on. Seriously, I'll see you in the morning. James goes buzz buzz. Now I think this is where I come in and say, please subscribe, please, please, please. We do giveaways every 1,000 subs. But on a real note, go follow Sun Historian, guys. He was the person who helped me do research. Released in 1999, James Goes Buzz was released in the United States, United Kingdom, Canada, Australia, and Germany. USA variants included everything, while other countries came in with just a book. The books were also translated in German and French. They applied thermochromic paint on the nose where if you press the nose, due to the laws of thermodynamics, it changes colors. The paint just disappears. Unfortunately, they only last up to one year. Now you probably want to see if this is true or not, and we're not going to drive out and buy paint just so we can do- We bought the paint! I applied the paint on a piece of acrylic, and that was the wrong paint. The US variant came in brown labels, and the international variant came in red. And it also doesn't have the boco included on the front side, but just on the back side. And it has English, Spanish, French, and German. Unfortunately, James and Boko never had character cards in their sets. And in 2001, international variants was the version that had the gold dome James. Very, very rare. Among the gold dome, some had holes, some did not. This was actually the end of the set of James Goes Buzz Buzz. However, in 2003, limited James Goes Buzz Buzz was released worldwide. 50,000 were made in the United States, 5,000 in Australia. There were Canada and UK variants as well. Germany too, but I don't have a picture. The wall bag depicts the exact number of the item but also the total number produced along with what country it was made in. This edition also includes special character cards and a certificate of authenticity. Magnets are located in the base of the wall bag so it prevents James from sliding off the track when it's on the wall. And they made a mistake. It should say Tidmouth but it says Elsbridge. Battery operated James. Battery Operated James was released in 2001 in the Twist and Turn Battery Power Set and the James Express Pack. Doing the research was a little bit scary, mostly because of how much information I need to collect and if this keeps getting delayed, I'm going to be very sad. However, if I single-handedly gather up all the information, it's probably going to get to my ego. Either way, this probably isn't good for me. So that is why I decided to ask for some help. Photo Negative it's funny that his original Battery Express shares the same tolling as the other. I didn't know what that meant. But it turns out although James was released a year later, Thomas and Percy shared the same body as James. Maybe not the face. Here is a comprehensive guide on how to operate the Express James. Unscrew the mold. Put the batteries. Go forward. Go backwards. This is what the prototype Express James looked like. The faces were a bit different, mainly the mouse, and yellow boiler stripes and the domes were painted gold during the release. In 2002, they redesigned and renamed the Battery Express James to Battery Powered James. Although the prototype had black wheels, the release variant had gray. It also had a working lamp. And yes, that's a Thomas. I don't have a James. I actually do have a James. This James was redesigned so it only moves forward. Instead of a skeleton battery compartment, later it was painted black. And this variant came in these packagings. In 2011, the model face was replaced to a Tommy face. And in 2013, they metallified the James with different faces and proportions. They also removed the lights and James got a black wheel. Allegedly, this James was available as a 4-pack with Thomas, Percy, and Toby. I don't know how the packaging looks like. 60-year edition James. 6th year edition James was supposed to be released in 2005 but was not produced in favor of Blue Henry. They thought Henry would sell better. Probably true. However, several prototypes are owned by the community and this James was painted black based on his first railway series appearance and later this James was produced as introducing James in 2015 for the film Adventures Begins. The 60 year James had gold domes, model series face, and 60 year edition written on the chassis, while the new one had the metallified face. Some of the international James had origin James written instead of the introducing James. Future me again, that's just a rumor. In 2015, they started with introducing James written on the chassis. Then when they moved factories to TLE, they switched it to origins James, and then switched it back to introducing James at some point. Later in 2017, they got rid of the red accent featuring a pure black buffer beam and dome. 
The chassis said origin of James and this is actually the same design as the 2015 prototype. At least I can't tell the difference. Lights and sound James. This is James with a light. Also a hazard. The 2006 models were recalled due to lead paint and it was a small range including Thomas and Percy. Thomas and James had green interiors while Percy had blue. Yeah, I thought I'd just put it out there. This range later transitioned to Talking James in 2009. A variant of this James exists that says I Talk James. Normally it says Talking James. And in 2011 to 2012, this James went from model series face to Tomified face. Yeah, a Tommy face. James with team colors. This James was one of two trains from Adventures of James. Again, it was a hazard. Got recalled in 2007 for lead paint. The back of the box states that both engines have unique facial expressions when busy as a B James is the only one to have a new face. Okay, so this is Talking Railway Series James. If James is your normal Toyota, this James is your Bugatti. Gold magnets, gold names on the bottom, and it talks. <laughs> The earliest run had gold top hat next to it and later they changed it to a Wi-Fi signal. The destinations for the US variant had these on and off switches while the German version had the option to speak English or German. Gut gemacht, Thomas. James was available from the Talking Railway series Napper Station set and the following packaging. Wait a second, whoa, is that a Ferrari down there? Red Metallic James. This is Metallic James, looking very, very humble but not at the humble price. This James was available from 2009 to 2011. It was first bundled with the Anytime with James DVD pack and later they were available as a free gift with any purchase from Thomas Land or Thomas Town or Thomas Station by spending over a humble price of $10,000. I mean yen, it's around 100 bucks. They also included the unpainted wagon. Celebration James. Released from the anniversary gift pack, this James was part of a value pack to celebrate the 65th year of Thomas and Friends. It's just a James with a confetti on. I don't really know what else to say about this. Early Engineers James. Designed for Michael D. Bartolo. Very chunky. If Thomas Wooden Railway went inside of Minecraft, this is how it would look like. Early James was not featured in the 2011 yearbook. Now this information came from the wiki. Early James was available from the busy day on Soder set. Not the normal, but the Toys R Us version. Almighty Rock and Roll Query set. Uh, um, not the US version or the Target exclusive, but the UK variant. And lastly, the Deluxe Soda set. I've never seen the set before. I think it's rare. I don't know. <clears throat> James Lights the Way. This James was available in 2011 and 2012 and it was based on the episode James in the Dark. Pressing the cab makes the headlamp light up and this James had an CGI face. Roll and Whistle James. The Roland Whistle James was available from 2014 to 2017 and while all the trains got demoted to a smaller face, this one never did. However, James did go through a wheel lip transition and some were released in Germany and spoke German. Wait, I think I see a dinosaur here. Dino James Dino James was available from 2014 to 2016 from the James Roaring Delivery. The prototype had a clean James and a blank box car. It's like a pre-dinosaur and after dinosaur, these are feet marks by the way. Yeah, uh, James had it rough. Fishy James. There are three fishy things going on with this fishy set. James is displayed in the box without his tender. Thomas is seen on the box but not included. The prototype features a stop sign and an orange cargo bin instead of Brendan Bay fishery sign and blue cargo bin. Yeah, the last one's just a fact, not that fishy. Well, let's sort things out. James sorts it out. Available from 2014 to 2017, James sorted out came with James covered in green paint splotches and a special crate with a cutout to fit on James. Pretty fun. Fun fact, the track plan and the instructions for the set misspelled barrel as barrel. James did not sort it out. Snowy James. In 2018, Snowy James was released from the Snowy Rail set. This is the only Christmas themed James, but unfortunately it got discontinued before they got the chance to get the fully painted version out. VHS and DVD packs. There were two versions that made it super confusing. The random box version where they included random vehicles. The specific box version where they had specific trains. 
So far we see James from the Thomas Christmas Wonderland and other adventures, best of James, and James Ghost Buzz Buzz DVD pack. Now James being an iconic character, it was very easy to get him besides from buying James himself. It was here since the beginning when the 100 piece set came out, it was part of the roundhouse set, vehicle assortment boxes, soda mining set, lift and load set, trouble with tree set, mountain overpass set, really useful work set, soda rescue team set, Sights and Sound set, a race to warp set, a day at the wharf set, quarry mine tunnel set and roundhouse, Thomas and James set, Thomas Wood replenishment pack, what the f when does this end? James the Red Engine book pack, book bundle 1, speedy surprise drop set, and 6th engine pack. And yes, I just read the whole list from the wiki. I'm gonna clean now.